live by myself <laughs> and this one's gonna be an interesting one I am by myself today and I have a lot of things going on around <laughs> me so um, in the Mason Correa's household we actually brought a dog home yesterday we joined the ranks of well I joined the ranks of dog mom now it's temporary for the time being we are fostering until um, we figure out if having a dog in our home is the right thing for our family or not but I'm home alone the dog is in the crate out there so you might hear our foster pup um, while I'm doing this and because the pup is out there and we have a cat here the cat is beside me so she sometimes likes to make an appearance across the screen when I'm doing zoom calls so hopefully she'll stay seated that said, let me talk about what's happening in the market before I get interrupted by the animals in the Mason Correa's Mason Correa's household. And um, all right, so I've got two screens going. I'm going to try not to look up there, but that is where I might see comments if anyone. I think that's where I'd see comments. But frankly, I'm just going to focus down here. What's happening in the market? We have our new stats that just came out for the month of July. And uh, starting, as we usually do with interest rates, where we are there, we are still below 3%, which is fantastic news for buyers, as always. And they did tick up a little bit. What this says here is that uh, there was a strong jobs report and um, mortgage rates increased by 10 basis points week over week. Uh, but they're still below 3%. So that is fantastic for buyers and, uh, you know, helps keep a good demand out there overall now this is what we've been talking about so over the past couple of months if you've been watching Jen and I you've heard a saying that typically there is a summer slowdown we were feeling it and now the stats absolutely support that what surprised me a little bit though actually is um, listings are down as well I mean I thought that listings were going up and there may have been some of that, but what this shows us here is that in the month of July, the listings were down 18.6% from the month before and from the year before, um, down 3.7%. So inventory being low is the challenge in our market. If any of you are thinking about selling, call me. I'd love to put more homes on the market and buyer demand is still healthy, so it's still a good time to be a seller. And pendings are down. So we've been talking about that buyer activity for the summer has slowed down a touch. So down 15.7%. That's actually relatively significant from the month before and down 6% from the year before. Again, last year was COVID. It was extreme demand because of COVID. So being down from the year before is not actually a big surprise. And then closed sales are down 13.4% from the month before, but up from the year before. And again, that's probably related to COVID. So that's what's happening there. And then in regards to price, we peaked and we've been talking about this in our weekly, I think, market updates. But in terms of uh, the last time, if you watched our last monthly market update, we weren't sure if prices were going to you know, continue to flatline or go back up. We expected them to come down and they have. So this is what we typically see each year around this time, typically in June. We peak out in terms of price and then prices start to go down. We'll see a little increase typically in the fall and then bottom out in January. So we're seeing that typical trend. Um, it's good. To, you know, we don't have a crystal ball. I always say that I wish that I did. And yet uh, this is the best thing. The next best thing to having a crystal ball is watching our trends and seeing if they follow what we typically see. And so. We have some understanding of how the market behaves and there's some comfort in knowing that it is behaving how we expect it to. So sold price is down 2.2% from the month before. That is what we would seasonally see. So doesn't scare me, doesn't worry me. Um, up 8% from the year before. So year over year, our prices tend to increase in our area and yet we have these seasonal adjustments related to supply and demand. So here these numbers are similar, not terribly different uh, than what we've been seeing. So inventory remains low. Um, Jen pointed out, I think last time, we're not at our lowest ever, which is good news, but we are still significantly below our five-year average in terms of listings on the market. 
DOM stands for days on market. So this is the minimum actually. So 12 days last month was the average days on market, which is the lowest it's been in five years. On average, it's 21 days this time of year. So things are still moving quickly and average sold price to original list price. How close to asking price are sellers getting? And here we saw this come down a little bit, right? It had peaked up at 103%, I think was the highest that we saw it as we've been tracking it. And it was at, yeah, 102.7% last month. So we're down, that's down a percent. So um, that's what we've been seeing. That's what we're experiencing. The five-year average in June is 99.4%. Again, Northern Virginia has a very healthy market. So that is what happened in June. And these are our week over week stats. So nothing necessarily stands out here from what we've just seen. So this is a glimpse at what has happened this summer in regards to listings on the market, pendings, how supply has increased versus how demand has increased and that supply demand gap. When this is green, that's again, a relatively healthy supply demand gap. When it's red, when it's above 100%, that means more homes are going under contract than coming on the market. So that's not so healthy of a market. So that did happen there um, one week, but otherwise um, we've been in the green. And so, you know, relatively comfortable place to be right now, which is what we've been saying. If you're a buyer thinking about buying, we'd love to take you out and help you find something this time of year when there's not so much demand because we don't know what the fall is going to look like. After people have come back from their vacations, I suspect the buyer demand, the buyer activity rather, will probably increase a bit this fall. And again, the unknown, of course, here is COVID. So we don't know what's going to happen there, but um, obviously you saw COVID, you know, didn't slow us down too, too much last year. So. In any case, if you're a buyer looking to buy, give us a call. We'll get you connected with Jen, our buyer specialist. And if you are, are a person thinking about selling, give us a call. And I'd love to connect with you and talk about when is the right time for you and what's the value of your home. We'll do a no cost, no obligation um, estimate of what your home is worth and what it might take to get it on the market. So. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so happy that the animals in my household cooperated with me. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks. Let me try to figure out how to shut this down now. Oh, there we go. Let me shut it down here. I think I found it. Bye.